Hey YouTube, how's it going? Um, I'm recording this and I will probably either, uh, I think I'll upload it today. I already uploaded the Harley Quinn ther therapy, therapy with Harley. It's intense. Sorry, I'm recording this on my iPod so I'm looking at the screen. I probably shouldn't be, but you know how it goes. So in celebration of my new series, which will be coming out whenever I get a ton of views on that trailer, so send it to everyone if you want to see a series happen, and really answer my thing I posted in the, I'm not going to explain it. So anyway, <laughs> clear your minds and clear your, well, just clear your minds, because I've got something awesome. We all remember Batman. I'm not talking about New Millennium Batman, who honestly sucked, because let's be honest, Batman Beyond, okay, it's not Batman, it's someone who's dressing kind of like Batman, but isn't Batman, and Batman's old, and everyone's old except Joker, and, and Joker isn't old. This show makes no sense, if you think about it, okay. Think about it like this. I'm not even going to explain it, it's, it's scary, okay. You know, the ones I'm talking about, the best way to figure out which ones are like this, is if you look at the Joker, I'm talking about mid-90s. Look at the Joker. It's one of two Jokers. A, Joker A, has red lips. For some reason, later on, they give him black lips. But if he has red lips, or B, if his face is just white and it's sort of shaped odd and he has the big black eyes instead of, like, pupils and stuff. One of those two. Sorry, I'm sitting up. I just belched. Okay, so, well, you know what I'm talking about, true Batman funds. Sorry about that. Better get on with this. Top five Batman villains. This is my personal opinion. I'm rating this on scariness and uniqueness and stuff, so Killer Croc, Man Bat, you're not that creative. You're just kind of weird. I'm not putting you in here. Uh uh uh. These are my personal opinion. So, number five. Of course, we can't start the countdown without the one and only Harley Quinn, who we're start doing the series about. What? You thought Harley Quinn was going to win this countdown? She isn't the scariest. She is pretty cool, though. If you're unsure of her backstory, look up on YouTube Mad Love and some five-minute clip or something. It shows her entire story, and she's narrating it. It's pretty cool how it happened. Harley Quinn is awesome, okay? She has that giant hammer. She is scary. I mean, think about it. She is totally crazy. And she's crazy because the Joker Dover crazy. The difference being she is smart. She was a doctor. Think about it. Doctors are smart. Uh-huh. Let's move on with this countdown because I'm rambling. Number four is baby doll and people are like who's baby doll and those of you who do know what she is like she's not that cool i think she's pretty freaky i only saw one episode there because i'm just now getting into the batman series but she is like this actress who is like 30 but she has this disease where she was frozen at age five so that made her like totally crazy it tries to kill her tv family and stuff Totally worth checking out. That is so weird. Before I even knew what was wrong with her, when I heard that voice, I'm like, that doesn't sound like a kid voice. Maybe they're messing up the voice. No, that's how scary she is. And you're like, no, she's not that scary. Well, I beg to differ. Remember Chucky? Dun, dun, dun. Little guy. Killer. Don't underestimate little killers. They're scary. Little kids, all that. Anyway. Number three, I can't go on with this countdown without mentioning the Riddler. The Riddler is so scary. People are like, oh, he's just silly. Okay, maybe in the cartoon series, but have you, have you seen the gameplay for Arkham City? That's right, I don't own an Xbox 360, but I've seen gameplay in Arkham City. What? <laughs> That's what YouTube's for. I know, I'm cheap and lazy, but anyway, Arkham City, that game is so cool, I love the, watching the plot lines, but 
basically, uh, the Riddler isn't a huge part, I don't think. You get the trophies and all that, but if you, I saw the clip where it's like you have the little mission with him, and you see him being projected on that big projection screen, you see all the little black question marks everywhere. Oh, that is so scary, okay, isn't it? Those of you who know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, where are we? Number two. Two. Who should be number two other than Two-Face? Get it? Uh, that's clever wordplay. I think Two-Face is cool, and he's really a scary villain if you think about it. Think about it like this. Um, He has that coin and everything. I'm not talking about movie Two-Face. Oh, maybe new movie Two-Face. He's awesome. Story differed a little bit, but... Especially not old movie Two-Face. He was stupid. He really brought down Jim Carrey's performance as the Riddler. That's right. I saw movies from the 80s and 90s. What? What? Uh-huh. I'm awesome. So anyway. Uh, Two-Face, right? Two-Face is freaky. If those of you who don't know, his story in the show and stuff is the same as in the old movie. That he got acid to the face and... I think he's scarier as the drawings. He's not overly gory. He's just scary and crazy. I love that. You know, you gotta have a good crazy person. Those of you who don't know, these are all crazy people on this countdown. But anyway, number one. What? You didn't think I was gonna finish this countdown without mentioning Mr. J? Those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, the Joker. I'm working on my Harley accent. I'm not very good at it, but I'll try it because I'm terrible with a Brooklyn accent. And it's close to the Jersey, but who cares? Mr. J, or the Joker, is the scariest villain. And I'm doing this in a Harley voice. He's scary because if you think about it, he's insane. He's totally insane. I like the acid story better than the scarring story. And I like old Joker better than new Joker. Honestly, new Harley's about the same, so it doesn't make no difference. But the Joker, old, is good. Old is good, but new kind of stinks. He's too scary. You know, you want him to be... I'm off the accent now. You want to be equal scary and crazy, I mean, but you want to be, have, be fun, too. Like, I miss the old cartoons where he would do something and blow up someone, make a joke, and I'd actually laugh, and I'd be like, well, why am I laughing? This is awful, but it's so funny, you know, it's funny how cheesy it is, and I miss that. New ones are just dumb jokes where he kills everyone. Hmm. And don't even get me started in Justice League. Batman is too cool to be a part of the Justice League. Mm-hmm. And you know when he's hanging out with Superman, Superman's always showing him up being like, Hey, I can fly. You can glide that I can fly and I got superpowers. What, what, what? Batman doesn't even be showing off. He is awesome. And so that concludes my top five Batman villain countdown. I know I missed a few. The only one I can think of that I missed was Poison Ivy. I'm sorry, but she is not crazy. I don't think she's crazy. I think she's just a hippie. But anyway, gotta go. Bye!